On January 1st, 2012, Nigerians got a New Year's gift from then-president Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. It was a removal of fuel subsidy. With this announcement, the price of fuel skyrocketed. Nigerians were alarmed at this new reality. There was no preparation, no cushion. This looks like untold hardship on the people. There was panic in the land. Most people who had traveled to their respective states for the u tide were stranded. What was conceived as a good policy from the government met a very wrong reaction from the people. Nine months prior to these announcements, Nigerians had come out to vote for President Jonathan, ensuring a landslide victory at the 2011 polls over his eventual successor, Muhammad Dubuari of CPC and Nu Ribadu of the ACN. After the announcement, everyone rose in anger, which led to the murder of all protests tagged Occupy Nigeria, joining the global Occupy movement. For days, Nigerians thronged several states to protest the subsidy removal. Apart from the organized labor, there were other pressure groups, including the Save Nigeria group, headed by Pastor Tunde Bakari, as well as opposition groups from the ACN and CPC. The protests also happened abroad. With his credibility on the line, the president decided to call a meeting of four stakeholders to discuss the way forward. The National Assembly also made an emergency return from its holidays to find a way out. Subsequently, Labour backed down on the strike. The protests lost leadership and the government rolled tanks onto the streets. Protesters became enemies of the state and about 17 protesters were reportedly killed by security officials during the protest. By mid-January 2012, the protesters were totally and forcefully dispersed. In the end, after more deliberations and negotiations, the full price was reduced to 97 naira, with the presidency promising several palliatives for the people. This was later done through the Shore P program, amongst others. However, the damage had already been done. The administration never recovered from the backlash, which, amongst other things, led to the loss of the 2015 general elections. Ten years after, in 2022, another protest looms as the federal government plans another fuel subsidy removal, which will lead to hike in fuel and electricity prices in the new year. What is such guys do? If anybody said he is subsidizing anything, he is a fraud. Who are they subsidizing? I don't understand it, and I need the petroleum economists who will explain to me this question of subsidy. It's sheer fraud and corruption. President Muhammad Buhari has already increased fuel and electricity charges multiple times in the six years of his administration thus far. Interestingly, Leaders of the protests which crippled the country a decade ago as strong men of the opposition now occupy senior positions in the current administration. <laughs> 